Joining us now, John Casey, author of the book, Dark Winter, how the sun is causing a 30-year cold spell. John Casey, you were here last week. We do appreciate your time. Tell us about this, this global cooling. Is it, in essence, a new ice age? Well, we haven't concluded it's a new ice age, but certainly it's going to be dangerously cold, as certainly as uh, it was 1793 to 1830. Uh, right after the formation of our country, we had a disastrous cold climate on the planet, and it's coming back around. And you said temperatures started falling in 2007. You know, everyone's talking about global warming, but you're saying we should really be preparing for global cooling because that's exactly what's going on now, right? That's correct. In fact, there's uh, several fundamentals about the Earth's climate status uh, people are simply not being told about by our government. Number one, there's really no global warming anymore. There hasn't been for years. The last uh, time we looked, we've had 18 years now with any, without any global warming. The oceans began to cool, in fact, in 2003, and the atmosphere followed right after that. So we're definitely heading into a new cold era. So, John, as we understand it, you're concerned about a, a solar hibernation. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but within the last year, wasn't there a great deal of solar activity, flares, sunspots uh, affecting uh, Earth? Uh, what, what, what is entailed in a, in a solar hibernation? Uh, a, a solar hibernation is basically a term we came up with to properly explain to uh, everyone what's happening with the sun. In essence, every 206 years, the sun cuts back on the energy by which it warms the earth. As a result, we get colder. Uh, now, with regard to what we've heard about recent activity and a spike of activity coming from the sun, that is the normal peak of the 11-year solar cycle we learned about in high school. This peak, however, according to NASA, is the weakest peak in 100 years. What that means is even though we're passing through an 11-year solar cycle peak, it is very weak indeed. But we still get flares that come off during these peak periods. John, we only have about 20 seconds remaining as we look at images of people trying to get themselves out of this huge snowstorm and, the, and thinking about what's going on in Buffalo, New York now. Are we going to see this for quite some time? How long do you expect this cold spell to last? The answer is yes, we are going to see this. What we're seeing now and what we've seen for four out of the last six winters is but a taste of what is to come. Uh, this uh, cold 30 years, period correct? You're saying 30 will be years? 30 years, exactly. We just issued a very important press release this morning from the Space and Science Research Corporation. The next 15 years, we'll see a dramatic drop in global temperatures beginning next year or the following year. So wow. we are literally at the precipice. John Casey, thanks again for your time and joining us here. The name of the book again, Dark Winter, How the Sun is Causing a 30-Year Cold Spell. And you can get your copy by visiting our website, newsmax.com slash dark winter. John Casey, once again, our thanks. And America's Forum will continue here on Newsmax TV right after this.